your your whole this is one of the most inspiring and so, special so. Huh? Of, and so many hundreds of questions that have come from all over the world but before we continue with the questions i would request our founder president dr ashok ke chauhan to say a few words he is the guiding light of amity he is considered the architect of modern education in india he is also a highly beloved figure of india and the world so we're so uh, happy that dr chauhan our founder is online if i can request him please to address the audience please your excellency his holiness we are i'm dr ashok chauhan speaking we all are so proud to listen each word of yours each word of wisdom and i am very confident that everybody thousands of people in india from mit and otherwise and at my overseas campuses their life would change from this hour onwards all what you told your four commitments i think everybody will put these commitments as part of his or her life then your thinking that in 7 billion people oneness is something which should be the aim of everybody what we have learned from you today also when i smile now i will see that my smile is a sincere smile <laughs> these all things which you told before i say two words more i will invite you to talk about guru chela i will invite you now to present you one of your most beloved chela dr pradeep chobe the number one in bhati surgery in the world dr pradeep chobe can you get the blessings of his holiness please come online dr pradeep chobe certainly yes Good morning, sir. Yes, please. Or it is. Yes. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And we are all delighted to listen to you, and also to know that you are keeping a good health, and uh, your smile and your sense of humor. as it is is increasing day by day and we feel very very delighted and blessed by you our family especially in the whole world is delighted and we are looking forward to your 85th birthday in july and uh, uh, we wish you uh, very best uh, of uh, health and a very 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 long life thank you thank you 80 85th birthday his holiness uh, has selected 85 people all over the world 85 people all over the world those who will be allowed to pray their greetings and dr pradeep chobe is one of these 85 as he is the most beloved chela also at the 75th birthday a book was published and 75 persons gave their comments and prayers and dr pradeep chobe was one of them when the son of pradeep chobe was <laughs> two months old his his holiness told pradeep ji i will come to your residence to bless your grandchild so this is the this is the commitment of dr pradeep chobe that on the basis of your karuna on the basis of his karuna he is treating so many people all over the world and i think sir corona has taught us more karuna i think and uh, i will tell to dr tul chauhan and dr sim chauhan to make in all our universities the 10 university in the country the center for tibetan studies and tibetan ecology and also uh, dr silva murthy uh, dr pv sharma at our 175 acre campus new york long island we should make a center for tibetan studies and especially on tibetan ecology sir we are so proud my wife dr vita chauhan ji a great scholar of sanskrit is listening and she is so amazingly convinced so that to every children in every day raman she told i will tell all your preaching and we are grateful for whole life for giving us i i think you will remember quite many years back i invited you 
on the request of Chief Minister of Delhi, and we mm -hmm. had a big meeting in Mavlenkar Hall. Yes. I sent a special plane to uh, receive you from Dharamshala, and then we had a dinner at the Chief Minister house, and I remember these memories, and my life has changed. Thank you, sir. We are so grateful, so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It is my duty, whatever way, from my knowledge, from my experience, make some contribution directly this country. Then, uh, indirectly, uh, since India, democratic, most populated nation, so the, say the message of India uh, can reach, I think, all over the world. Uh, so then, historically, China, Buddhist country. So many Chinese uh, uh, now today, uh, over 400 million Buddhists in China. So as I mentioned briefly, you see, they, uh, those uh, top scholar, Chinese, some university, they consider Tibetan Buddhism is a Nalend tradition. It's very scientific. So, you see, you also, you see, can share the, with uh, your uh, another big nation, most populated nation, uh, India and China, uh, two most or the populated nation. So you can make some significant sort of contribution for a happy world. At present, China, totalitarian system, no freedom of speech, no free press. But that will change, will change. Okay. People uh, always remain. The government or party from time to time change. So Chinese people, uh, as I already mentioned, you see, many Chinese, uh, the uh, government level, you see, some criticize me. But people's level, you see, they really showing loving kindness towards me. And also they appreciate some of my teaching, like that. So, thank you. See you again. Uh, before before we finish, we would, if you, with your permission, His Holiness, can we take one or two more questions? In fact, one of the brilliant questions is coming from one of our PhD student of nano science and technology, uh, Mamta Thakran, who is saying that because of COVID-19, many people lost their jobs, businesses and dropping down day by day, and hence they are getting into depression. What can we do to overcome? their depression and help them at this hour of crisis, His Holiness. Hmm. And now the causes of every moment, you see, every thought, you see, due to its cause yes. and conditions. Yes. Now you, you should uh, analyze the causes of your depression somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh. Now here, one great Indian master of Nalendra, he mentioned when we face some problem, some difficulties, we should analyze if that difficulties or problem can overcome, then no, because of the no need worry, make effort. Uh, if the problem, no way to overcome, then no use uh, worry. <laughs> very practical, very practical. Uh, so now my own case, uh, when I think uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I'm quite young now, uh, quite old. But that, you see, uh, now nothing can change. So old age, also one uh, beauty, you see, more experience. So young people, a lot of enthusiasm, but much less experience. <laughs> so, uh, so old people, uh, as an old person, 
is to try to share. And then young people, physically, mentally young, so full of energy. So thinking these, these lines, if something, uh, 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 something you can overcome, uh, then uh, no, no use depression. Thinking, okay. thinking, try to yes. how to overcome. Your then, Excellency, I have hundreds of questions before me, but I know your time is so precious. We are yes. truly blessed. Mm -hmm. But can I take your permission to allow Dr. Rajendra Prasad, one of the greatest scientists I have in Amity University system, to ask a brief question? Yes. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, please. All right. It's always a treat to listen to you and to see you so closely. I have a question out of the topic. My question is, that life is unpredictable. If given a chance to revive your life, will you change it or will you do the same thing all over again? What a question coming from the scientist who is asking His Holiness, given a chance to rewind your life, to give you a choice to do it all over again, would you, Your Holiness, come back and bless us for thousands of years more? Question, sir. Not very clear. Your question, question. not very clear. Sir is asking that given a chance, in your next life, would you, Your Excellency, like to come back again at Dalai Lama? <laughs> <laughs> that's, or, or, or something else. <laughs> oh, that's my private business. <laughs> but, you know, my main daily sort of prayer and practice is so long space remain, so long sentient beings remain. I will remain. I already, I think, mentioned. Uh, and then, within this lifetime, uh, whatever way I can serve other. Uh, uh, that, that, that's my main sort of purpose of my life. Then I think we all, as a human brother, sisters, we are part of the human society. So our very life, not for create more problem to other. This is illogical. The very purpose of our life is try to serve as much as you can to more human brothers, sisters. Then ultimately, I think the best way uh, to fulfill your own sort of happy life, the selfish is the, uh, what's it, the negative sort of force. Altruism looks sense of more concern about others' well-being. The actually best way to fulfill your selfish desire. Okay. Thank you so much indeed once again and our our utmost reverence and respect to you and to your entire team for giving us this honor of having you with us at Amity University webinar. Thank you. Then, Thank you. then I want to share one sort of story. Right. Oh, one occasion in Delhi. Yes. See, uh, every morning uh, before my breakfast, I come out of my room and then uh, they always, Indian police, you see, uh, always there. So I say, I said, hello. Then they also, you see, uh, uh, said they expressed to me very, warm, very warmly. Then I ask, uh, judging my face, how old? <laughs> uh, I ask, uh, uh, then they say about, I think, uh, 70 or something. Then at that time, my uh, age, young, uh, 
I think already 80 or something. Then, then I told them, my age now over 80 years. Then the police, uh, then I asked, judging my face, how old? They say 70 or something. Mm. Then uh, I teased them, uh, uh, look at my face and then my mouth. Uh, quite beautiful, <laughs> more lipstick, but quite red. <laughs> then I show the police or oh, look my lips uh, and my teeth. Uh, then, they, then they also express naturally, you see, very happy smile. Then I, uh, so I acted. <laughs> then all the police who sort of there, they always, they, they, everyone laughing, laughing, laughing. <laughs> so I want to share with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you so much. We are truly blessed today. And we wish to thank you and your entire team for giving us this honor to host you in the Amity eminent webinar today, which has been addressed earlier by Nobel laureate Kailash Satyarthi ji, and also by the Nobel laureate of Peace Professor Yunit, Muhammad Yunis. And we are truly blessed to have you today. Sir, you are much bigger than the Nobel laureates. You are the noblest soul on planet Mother Earth, continuing to bless the entire humanity. And we feel truly honored and truly blessed by your, your kindness to be with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless us for 20 years. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Your Holiness. Here, yeah. according Indian time, and also, I usually, you see, three thirty, or get up. Hmm? Then about uh, five thirty, my breakfast. You, not yet. So you, I think everyone, perhaps I think a bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I would like to uh, express special greetings when your stomach is still empty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you, Your Holiness. We are very hungry. <laughs> your Holiness, did you have a good birthday? Kasa. Yes. Happy belated I, birthday. So I feel each day birthday. Yeah. Morning. Indeed. You see, fresh sun coming. So each day is actually a new day, so birthday. Indeed. The important is uh, your own mental attitude. You see, mental attitude, uh, if you keep peaceful mind, then every morning, something like birthday, mo birthday morning. Tasha Delek. Good morning, Your Holiness. My name is Kumangandra Hennadi, and I'm the founding director of Center for the Advanced Learning of Mindfulness in the UK. And together with our co-organizer, Shine Wellbeing, today we have organized a very special event for you, Your Holiness. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Your Holiness, this is your very first dialogue that you will be conducting with a Western police force. In this early hour in the morning in the UK, we have nearly 1,000 
London Metropolitan Police officers, staff and special guests to hear your advice on developing compassion in uncertain times. On behalf of all of us present here today, first of all, I'd like to wish you a very happy 85th birthday, Your Holiness. We are truly grateful from the bottom of our hearts for all that you do. Now to moderate this event, um, I would like to welcome Police Constable Bryn Dior, the founder of Shine Wellbeing. Thank you, Your Holiness. Thank you. Your Holiness, thank you so much for being with us here today. Happy birthday. And may I say, you look youthful as ever. Welcome to everybody tuned in today. A few housekeeping rules before we begin. Please kindly keep yourself on mute. And for those that will be talking, I will cue you in. I am honored to introduce uh, Detective uh, Chief uh, Superintendent Simon Rose to open this event. Over the last year, he has been a champion for Shine within the Met and has been a tremendous support in helping us put this event together. Please welcome Simon Rose. Thank you. Your, Your Holiness, I am very sorry that at the last minute, the Commissioner cannot be with us this morning. This is due to an operational matter. The Commissioner really wanted to personally thank you for your time today and also wish you a happy 85th birthday. It is now, though, my privilege to say happy birthday instead. I and all of the almost 1,000 officers and staff listening this morning are truly grateful for the generosity of your time. I know you have only ever spoken to one police service before. We know we are very lucky. That is why almost 1,000 off-duty officers and staff are with us 5.30 in the morning, London time. We are here to listen to you and learn about developing compassion in uncertain times. One of the reasons we are also here is because of Shine. Shine are a small team of volunteers within the Metropolitan Police Service. They have been Kuzma. offering mental health well-being support for over two years to their colleagues. The Shine volunteers are passionate about making a difference to their colleagues' lives, about enhancing mental resilience and helping their colleagues achieve inner peace. But Shine could not have done this without Dr. Kamanga and the Centre of Advanced Learning and Mindfulness, Carl. I know Dr. Kamanga has worked with your team on many occasions before, but without her help, we would not be here today. We are enormously grateful to her too. I know you know that we are policing in very, very challenging times. The importance of developing a peaceful mind and mental well-being is now more important than it ever was. So, Your Holiness, we are honoured to have you, a spiritual leader, a world leader, a Nobel laureate here today to talk to us. If time permits, we also have 10 officers and staff would like to ask a question afterwards. Yes. But first, can I please invite Your Holiness to share with us your thoughts on developing compassion in uncertain times? 
Thank you. I feel very happy and a great honor to speak uh, some English uh, sort of, what is it, people. We Tibet and British, we have very, very close or say, link. Uh, so when I uh, visit uh, England, you see many people, you see they uh, introduced to me, they once uh, posted in Lhasa. So, uh, and then, I think 1914, Injimamuyad. Very young. Right. 1904. 1904. Oh, no, 1904. The, the British, uh, what they call army or soldier, came to Lhasa. Very peaceful. Then he, the, I think the name of the uh, head, young husband. You see, he uh, very, very peaceful. Uh, if may I say so, unlike Chinese soldier, <laughs> the British, uh, the army, uh, most of them Indian, uh, they station in North Potala. It's very peaceful. Then, they, uh, at that time, Dalai Lama fled to Mongolia, through Mongolia to China. Uh, uh, the acting sort of uh, uh, Dalai Lama. Oh. You see, he gave the young husband one Buddha statue. That Buddha statue, when I visit London, uh, you see, he kept, I mean, his family kept that Buddha statue. Uh, and then he very much impressed Tibetan sort of spiritual atmosphere. So he st start small organization about uh, religious spiritual organization. I have been there. So in any way, uh, we have very uh, historically very close link and uh, during India as a sort of uh, British colony, so the mission in Lhasa uh, always one English uh, Englishman. So, uh, whenever you see they uh, come to see me, they usually you see, carry some toy. So, when I received you see, the uh, information, the uh, British uh, mission coming to, to see me, I expected or oh, something. <laughs> So we have some special connection. So uh, I'm very happy, uh, you see, this opportunity, uh, me talking, talking to a uh, number of uh, Englishmen. And Sri Lanka, oh, you see, uh, Basically, Buddhist country. Uh, so I always, you see, uh, express the Asia non-violence, Hindi word ahimsa, non-violence. And that combined with karuna, Karuna, compassion. So over 3,000 years, you see, in India, that concept 
develop. Uh, so now today, the the thousand year old India sort of concept, uh, non-violence, compassion, this today's world, uh, or I think generally to humanity, very very sort of relevant using these concept, non-violence and compassion. Uh, so now, uh, time always moving. Uh, but now, uh, the whether we, the question is whether we uh, properly use time or not. So everything is it depend on our own shoulder. So now here, I want to uh, to share with you the Western sort of culture, mainly materialistic thinking. Uh, Asia, uh, the thinking, as I mentioned earlier, <coughs> compassion, non-violence, you see, these are related with our inner world. So usually I describe hygiene of physical. That's Western world or whole world. You see, they're taking care, hygiene of physical. But now we need hygiene of emotion. That is something very important. So when we say peace, 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 mainly inner peace. Or say the uh, external sort of, or say the violence, this originally uh, motivated by our emotion. So unless peace of mind to develop, the peace difficult to achieve. Uh, so therefore, uh, now uh, time come, we should pay more attention about our inner world, uh, inner peace. So now that, not through prayer, not through sort of prayer or blessing or ritual, but through understanding about our also whole mental system, whole mind. Uh, so part of education, not religion. So I am very, very sort of uh, committed, trying to include in our education uh, the, about uh, the name of hygiene of emotion. And then, uh, from childhood, of course, the childhood, they love a smile. They love uh, altruism or compassion. So now, uh, in classroom, uh, should include how to keep this warm-heartedness. And when we uh, about to develop anger, uh, how to tackle anger. Uh, so as a part of education, the, as I mentioned earlier, hygiene of emotion. So, I, so you see, the, uh, from uh, kindergarten level, uh, in lesson, I feel should include about how to keep peace of mind and how to tackle fear, uh, anger, all these, uh, you see, so the, 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 the mental thing or emotion. 
So actually, uh, now quantum physics, they make distinction, appearance and reality. The material thing is it appears exist objectively. The quantum physics is not yet sort of the, uh, the reach, research of the mind, but the external material thing, you see, uh, appear, the, there's differences, appearances and deeper level. Appearance, things objectively exist. But real, the, the deeper level, if we investigate, nothing we can find. So now, important is all the uh, destructive emotion, entirely based on appearances. Uh, like compassion, this altruism, this not on the basis of appearance, but deeper level. So therefore, the, uh, all uh, destructive emotion are very much related with appearances. Uh, the positive emotion on the basis of reason, so deeper level. So if we study these a mental system uh, about emotion and wisdom or these positive emotion, these things, uh, then you can uh, develop full conviction. Uh, destructive emotion, uh, such as anger, jealousy, these not uh, based on sound reason, but just appearance and then Grasping uh, uh, the the, 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 the if, if sort of appearance, you see, you, you, you feel, oh, this is something bad, this is something good. Then uh, anger, fear, these things come. So now already uh, some. Uh, a student in China who study quantum physics, you see, they uh, express the, as a student of quantum physics, you see, the, when things appear, you see, not much sort of grasping. So, uh, in such case, much easier, you see, to tackle destructive emotion. The ancient Indian sort of psychology, including Buddhist psychology, uh, it clearly mentioned, you see, uh, all those negative emotion, you see, uh, based on appearances. So, so antidote of that, uh, analyze the reality. Then we cannot find nothing, the material thing, small, small particle, uh, then, what's mm -hmm. uh, that? Atoms. Atoms. Oh. Uh, you can't find things. Oh. Appears or there. But if you analyze color, shape, material, like, go like that, we can't find. Similarly, our mind, mind always sort of moving, changing. So past, uh, past. So mo mind momentarily, you see, moving, changing. So uh, if you analyze about mind, uh, again, you see, there is no basis to grasping. So therefore, uh, we call analytical meditation. Analyze uh, behind this appearance, 
what is the reality? Then nothing. So because all destructive emotion based on appearances, that when we analyze, you see nothing, so that very basis of destructive emotion then reduce. The positive emotion such as compassion, uh, these things, you see, very sound basis. So more analyze, you see, uh, these feelings can uh, strengthening, can develop. The negative emotion, if you investigate, uh, nothing. So that is really, because of the uh, really hopeful sign, Com such as compassion, positive emotion, very sound basis. You see, you can reasoning. Uh, through that way, uh, time passes, you see, the compassion gain more strength, more strength. The anger, not based on reality, just appearance. So therefore, the, all of a sudden, it come, but no sound basis. So anger, uh, we cannot meditate about anger, uh, but we, med we can meditate compassion because uh, of the minutes, or uh, hours, and weeks, months, years, decades. And then, you see, the uh, positive emotion gain much more strength. Then, eventually, the, those uh, destructive emotions. <laughs>